Yo, what's good, world? It's your boy 4AR. I'm here with MachineMasters.com, and today I'm about to show you how to hook up your machine to the Alisa's DM6 drum module. All right. Uh, so I just got the Alisa's, and I was trying to, you know, integrate it in, in my workflow in my system, and I could not find anywhere on the internet how to get this synced up. You know. So then I called my boy. Also, Machine Masters fam, uh, uh, James Jackson, he, he kind of walked me through it. We was kind of like trial and error, so we did it till we figured it out, so we decided to do a video. I'm going to go to the, the Elise's DM6 drum module, and we're going to change a couple settings to make it sync up into the computer and along with machine. This is the default screen as soon as you turn it on. Um, next, we're going to hit the next button is a pattern. As you can see, it's a P dash in there. This is the setting. It, it says that it is uh, internal for the external internal sounds. We want to change it for the external to make it a slave. So all you do is toggle through plus or minus, and now we have a dash dash in. This is the proper setting to make it uh, external, and. We want to use the sounds that's within machine. Next, now we're inside machine, so now we have to kind of change a couple, a couple of the settings to make the DM6 sync up. We already made it a certain. So first, we're gonna to go to File, bring it down to Audio and MIDI settings. Next, we're gonna hit the MIDI tab and inputs. This is where we locate the the Lisa's DM6. It's recognized as the E drum. It's off. We're gonna turn that on. Next, I already have a uh, a drum kit loaded up with some sounds from the Apple Juice Kid kit from iStandard. The ones that are lit up, these are the ones that kind of trigger the pads. I already got something loaded. But we got one more thing to do. Now we're down here at the Apple Juice Kid A. We're gonna hit this menu. I'm gonna bring it down to Sound MIDI Batch Setup. This is the mapping mode. By default, it's here, restore defaults. We're gonna click to down here, Sound to MIDI Notes. Next, we have MIDI Channel, it's set to one. We want to set the MIDI channel to 10. And for the root note, it's default C3. We want to bring that to C1. And hit apply. All right, we should be set up with the Elisa's in your machine. Stick it, I'm hitting the Elisa's, and we should be good. This is the snare. This is the kick pedal. Hi-hat pedal. Tom one. Tom one. Tom two. Tom three. Ride symbol, crash, and the hi hat symbol. Next up is Studio Drummer through Contact in Machine to link up with the releases. I am on my Group B. I go to Sound MIDI Batch Setup. And it's currently to sound the MIDI notes. Now, for each one, you're gonna have to go back and forth if you're gonna toggle back between Studio Drummer and Trigger and with the machine, uh, machine sounds. So when it's time to use Contact and Studio Drummer, you're gonna change this back to Restore Defaults. And hit Apply. We come here to Studio Drummer. I got the Stadium Kit full loaded up. 
And see right here, MIDI channel A, we need to change that. Bring that to Omni. One more setting. We come down here to Options tab. And we have a MIDI mapping preset. It's on default. We need to change this to GM. It's kind of like a generic version. As you can see, all the other E kits. You got V drums, you got the Easy Drummer, Studio Drummer, BFD, Addictive Drums. Click that. You're all set. All right, this is 4AR with MachineMasters.com. Make sure you subscribe and also sign up to MachineMasters.com. Peace.